Hi everyone. Welcome to part 8 of the series of videos that I have been making to help ships master candidates with their oral examination preparation. Some of these questions are also useful for candidates preparing for chief mid examinations because most of the topics, the syllabus pretty much overlaps one another. So in these videos, I take up a couple of questions, most of which are related and that have been asked of candidates by examiners all over the world. And I try to provide you sh with short yet detailed answers, good enough for you to provide the same to your examiners and surveyors to impress them with your knowledge and to get a clearance on the question. So let's get started with today's question. Today we have only two questions to discuss. So I like to keep these videos short based on the feedback that I've received from the students. So in today's question, first question is the candidate was asked to describe in detail the cycle of surveys necessary to have a vessel accepted into the classification society and thereafter to remain in classification society under the special survey regime. So once the certificate or the classification society is satisfied with the vessel's construction, they issue a certificate of class which has a validity of five years. Now to keep that validity and to keep your vessel in that certificate of class, you have to undergo a few surveys. So vessel that has been accepted into class will receive certificate of class for hull and machinery. The maximum and also the standard period of validity of classification certificates is five years. And in order to keep a five year certificate valid until renewal, a vessel in class must be inspected by the classification society as follows. So the first survey is the initial survey, which is issued after supervised construction or otherwise on acceptance of the vessel into the classification society. The second is the first annual survey, which is also known as the special survey, which is to be conducted in the period three months either side of the first anniversary date. So let's say your vessel was accepted into the classification society in May 2021. So the anniversary date will become May 2022. But you can have your first annual survey three months before May 2022 or three months after May 2022. But within that period, you must have your first annual survey. So the first annual survey is also called special survey. Then the next survey is the second annual survey, which is to be conducted in the period again, three months either side of the second anniversary date. So two years from the time the vessel was accepted into class. Alternatively, the intermediate survey, which is this survey, may include a bottom inspection. So a ship's bottom inspection, which may replace the second annual survey at the owner's option. So the ship owner may choose to go for the ship's bottom survey, which will be an underwater survey. It's also the second annual survey is also called the intermediate survey because it lies between the period of the five year validity. So that's why. All right. So the ship owner can request for a bottom survey instead of the complete annual survey. Then we can have the third annual survey, which is again to be conducted in the period three months, either side of the third anniversary date. All right. So alternatively, this survey is also called the intermediate survey and this can also include a bottom inspection, which may replace this survey at owner's option. Now intermediate survey must replace the third annual survey if it was not done to replace the second annual survey. So you may ask me that why is both second annual and third annual called the intermediate survey because you can see that half of the five year is actually two and a half years, right? So that is why either two or three can be called the intermediate survey. The fourth or the renewal survey will not be called the intermediate survey. So two and three both are somewhere in the middle of the 2.5 mark, which is the half mark to the five year validity of the classification society. But like I've mentioned before, the owner has the option to choose the bottom inspection, but only for one of the surveys, either the second or the third. Then you can have the fourth annual survey as well, which is to be conducted in the period three months either side of the fourth anniversary date. 
so with agreement between the classification society and the ship's owner work may commence on the renewal survey which is the next survey and the final survey after this starting immediately after the fourth annual survey so you can start your uh, work on the renewal survey items to reduce downtime when the vessel enters a dry dock for the renewal survey so for the renewal survey vessel has to be in the dry dock and you can reduce that period by working on some items in the fourth annual survey itself so renewal survey is also called the special survey which must be conducted in dry dock the renewal survey must be or may be completed 3 months prior to the anniversary date with no loss of validity it will be difficult to get an extension beyond the expiry date but not impossible however you have to remember that a certificate will not be extended by more than 3 months but only for vessels on long voyages or one month for short voyage vessels regardless of the date of individual surveys within their windows of opportunity the certificate will be stamped with the anniversary date all right so remember that although so let's say your renewal survey is due in may 2021 all right so if you are on long voyages you may have it after 3 months maximum after 3 months so june july august if you are on short voyages you can have it maximum to till about june 2021 so one month from may however whether you have it in june or august the stamp on the certificate will be still may 2021 so the classification society will assume that you did it on the renewal survey date of may 2021 so the next year's survey will again become due on may 2022 all right so that's how it works finally you have to uh, you are one of the candidates was also asked to name the certificates issued to a vessel by class on behalf of the class so there are only two certificates one is called the certificate of class which is issued for the ship's hull and the other is certificate of class which is issued for the ship's machinery and auxiliary equipment all right so these two certificates and their validity is of course 5 years so i hope you understood the special survey regime as required by classification society as well as the certificates that are issued as well as the period of validity of the certificates let me know if you have any doubts or questions regarding the voyage or this video not the voyage but this video and i'll be happy to answer it please watch the other videos as well the links are in the description section below to have a good knowledge of the questions that may be asked of you when you go for your ships master candidate thank you for watching today's video and i'll see you soon with my next video all the best for your studies and study hard